Ever wondered if you could change your life with just 100 YouTube subscribers? I did it, and today I'm sharing how. You won't believe how this small milestone has transformed my daily routine and even opened up new doors for me. Hi, I'm Janos, and like many of you, I was stuck in a 9 to 5 job that left me feeling unfulfilled and craving for more creativity in my life. I was constantly debating whether I should start a YouTube channel, worrying about what people would think if I'd have time or if anyone would ever watch my videos. So if you're anything like me, you've probably faced the fear of putting yourself there, the imposter syndrome and the big question, can I really manage this on top of my job? And I get it, because I've been there. But trust me, the journey can be incredibly rewarding. So in this video I'll share my personal journey, the unexpected benefits I've experienced, the tips on balancing YouTube with a full-time job and some of the challenges I've overcome along the way. And stick around because I'll reveal a surprising opportunity that came my way even with just 100 subscribers that completely changed my perspective. So when I first started I was nervous and unsure but as I continued to create and upload videos I slowly found confidence and grew little from video to video because speaking in front of the camera is becoming easier by the day and I even started to believe in my own voice. You won't believe the boost in confidence it gives me each time I read a positive comment and I realize I've managed to help even if it is just one viewer. Creating content helped me develop new skills I never thought I'd learn. From video editing to graphic design to storytelling and public speaking, my abilities are slowly expanding beyond what my 9 to 5 job requires. And recently I used my editing skills to create an engaging and funny video for a company project which received high praise from my colleagues and management. One of the most surprising benefits is the sense of community. Even with just 100 subscribers, I'm beginning to feel a real connection with my viewers because people are starting to interact more and more with my videos and the comments I get are so awesome. I also reached out and connected with other small creators and despite our small following, we are supporting each other, talking about YouTube stuff and probably we will be collaborating on some projects in the future, which I think can be incredibly rewarding. Because collaborating with creators of the same size or slightly slightly bigger can seriously increase the growth of a channel both on YouTube and on the personal side. Today YouTube has become my creative outlet, an escape from the routine of my 9 to 5 job. It allows me to explore my passions and express myself in ways my job didn't. I am enjoying each step in the creation process. Filming and editing videos has become a fun and fulfilling process even if it is challenging at times. For me having this creative space has a positive effect on my mental health because it gives me something to look forward to and it helps reduce stress from my job. And the key to balancing a YouTube channel with a 9 to 5 job is creating a schedule and sticking to it. For this I dedicate specific days and times to brainstorming, filming and editing. For instance I spend about 1-2 hours each evening after work planning and scripting content, filming on Saturday mornings and editing on Sunday afternoons. This way I don't feel overwhelmed and can still enjoy my weekends. Sometimes when I'm on the top of my scripting game, I like to batch film two videos over the weekend. Because by recording multiple videos in one go, I save time and keep things consistent. For instance, there was this one Saturday when I filmed two videos and edited them both on Sunday. I then scheduled them for the upcoming week. This way, when I have a bit of time, I can pick up one task from the list and focus on it. So let me walk you through a typical week to show you how I juggle both my job and my YouTube channel. I start up in the morning by catching up on comments and binge watch YouTube videos to pick up tips and get inspired for my next content. During the day I'm always brainstorming ways to get better at coming up with video ideas. I jot them down so I don't forget them. I also like to respond to comments as soon as possible so they don't pile up or slip my mind. Usually after work I am focusing on writing the script and if I get ahead or there is a day that I am not in the mood to write then I use the time to film short segments or b-rolls. On weekends I usually record on Saturday and if I get ahead and have free time I either record another video or I jump straight into editing so there is less work for the next day. On Sundays I finish editing, schedule out the video and make the thumbnail. When working with a tight schedule it's all about finding the rhythm that best suits you and when there are some weeks that are more demanding at work I then just adjust my YouTube activities accordingly. During a busy week I might scale back my YouTube activities but then put in 
some extra effort to the weekend to catch up. And in order to boost my productivity, I use a few tools that have been super helpful in managing my time. For example, I use Notion to organize my video ideas, plan my content, and write the video scripts. I love Notion because they have an app for my iPhone, so no matter where I am, if I come up with a great video idea or a line for one of my videos, I can quickly open the Notion app and jot it down. This way I don't forget them when I am in creator mode. There are many other free note-taking apps, but I like Notion because it syncs immediately across platforms, so when I open it up on my computer, I can continue right from where I left off. The second must-have tool I use is Gleam. This tool is fantastic because it saved me so much time when editing my videos. It automatically cuts out silences and bad takes from my recordings, then I can export it to Final Cut Pro and all my cuts are already there. So what used to take me 3-4 hours of work now only takes me 15-20 to 20 minutes with Gleam. It's such a game changer. The third one is not actually a tool, but a way of working called the Pomodoro Technique. It involves working for 25 minutes and then taking a 5 minute break which keeps me focused and productive. Using the Promodoro technique, I edited an entire video in one evening without feeling burnt out. For me, it is crucial to prioritize my well-being to avoid burnout. Because if I'm kind and rested, I can do more in less time. And I hate working on my computer when I'm tired or I'm sleepy. And I even found out that if I take a short 20 to 30 minutes power nap, I can come back with more energy for the next 2-3 hours and the effect is even better than drinking a cup of coffee. The other thing for me is to set realistic goals that I can achieve. Instead of aiming to upload 3 videos a week, I focus on making 1 video per week. And if I get ahead and have extra time, I can start working on the next one. This way, I don't feel the stress of being not able to upload on schedule. And lastly, I love to seek support from my friends and family or fellow creators. My friends often help me brainstorm video ideas or give me feedback on my content which keeps me motivated and inspired. Now when it comes to challenges, one of the biggest for me is burnout. Because juggling a full-time job and a YouTube channel can be exhausting and after a few weeks of uploading consistently, I tend to feel drained and uninspired. Fortunately, by noting everything down in Notion, I don't struggle with coming up with fresh content ideas. However, there are still times when I stare at a blank page, reaching to a point of frustration because I can't write a single sentence or that nothing I come up seems good enough. Another challenge was the slow growth of my channel. It can be disheartening when your hard work doesn't pay off right away. And this happened in the first few months when my subscriber count barely moved and it was tough to stay motivated. But I think this is normal when you start something new, including YouTube. There needs to be this time to learn and figure out what works for you before seeing results. So I embrace this mindset of curiosity, learning and patience. To tackle these challenges, I discovered how crucial it is to take breaks and set achievable goals. So I began scheduling regular breaks and allowed myself to skip a week if I felt overwhelmed. This really helped me recharge and come back with renewed energy. There was even a time when I took a week off from YouTube and spent time on other activities. And when I returned, I felt more creative and motivated. Now for content ideas, I look for inspiration everywhere. Comments and feedback to other YouTubers and even my daily life. The Notion app is always with me, making it easy to jot down any idea no matter how small. I even remember a comment from a viewer that inspired one of my videos. He asked a question that I realized many others might have, so I made a video answering it. This kept me motivated and focused on positive feedback and small milestones. I celebrate every new subscriber and positive comment. To keep the momentum, I set small and achievable goals like gaining 10 new subscribers a month. For example, when I reached 90 subscribers, I celebrated by posting on the community tab. This helped me appreciate appreciate the journey and hopefully connect more deeply with my audience. But these challenges honestly are something that all YouTubers deal with whenever they're newbies or have been around for a bit. For me, since I was just getting started, I had three extra hurdles to jump over. Starting off, I faced quite a few technical issues and problems. From equipment failures to software glitches, they often disturb my workflow. But what workflow? I was just figuring things out on the way, wanting to make and upload YouTube videos. 
So I took the time to learn the basics of scripting, filming and editing. Gradually I developed a workflow that is becoming a bit of a habit. And it is actually pretty funny because one time my phone died in the middle of filming, I hadn't charged it before and didn't notice until I finished. I was so frustrated realizing that I've been talking to the walls for an entire hour. But I charged my phone and eventually made the video which I think it turned out great. A common challenge that many YouTubers face, including me, is handling negative feedback and trolls. I found myself caught up with this when one negative comment about the audio quality in my videos overshadowed all the positive ones. I got a bit discouraged, closed the YouTube app and didn't open it until the next day. And then I remembered why I started this channel in the first place. To learn about YouTube, to help others grow and hopefully to quit my job one day. So I decided to use this one negative comment as motivation to learn about microphones and audio which I believe has really improved my videos. Now this last one is still a bit of a challenge today because finding time for YouTube while working a full time job and being a parent can be tricky especially when unexpected work demands pop up. For me being flexible and planning ahead are super important. I've learned that if I don't plan my week things just don't get done and often work or family issues come up putting my channel work on hold. Plus whenever I get some free time I script or record in advance to keep my upload schedule smooth and stress free even when life gets in the way. So how exactly did YouTube change my life? Now because I edit most of my videos myself, I wanted to test my skills and join the contest to be a video editor for a big brand. Naturally it didn't work out as I expected, but I kept reaching out to local brands and ended up editing a few videos for a small local company. This was great because I landed my first brand deal and finally made some money from the experience gained from my YouTube channel. I will probably make a video about the whole process how much I earned and if you're curious about it I'll put a link in the description once it's made. So my small YouTube channel opened up some cool freelance opportunities and soon I started getting requests to edit videos for other small businesses because I got recommended by the brand where I had my first editing project. Eventually I didn't continue because I already had too much going on and I was neglecting my YouTube channel. Now hitting milestones on my channel no matter how small always gave me a big boost and reaching 100 subscribers might not be a huge deal for some, but for me it was massive. It showed that my hard work was paying off and kept me motivating to keep going. YouTube made me really tap into this creative side which was often squashed in my 9 to 5 job. I started playing around with different video styles and topics, always looking for keeping my content fresh and reignited my passion for creativity in other parts of my life. Having a creative outlet did wonders for my mental health, it gave me something to look forward to and ways to express myself. And when work gets tough, having my YouTube channel to focus on is such a relief and brings me so much joy. The positive feedback and support from my viewers have been super uplifting. Because hearing from viewers who say my videos have helped or inspired them is the best reward ever. It makes all the effort totally worth it. And I'm starting to build meaningful relationships with viewers and other creators who are on the same journey as me. We are kind of forming a little community that is growing together. Now looking back, starting my YouTube channel was one of the best decisions I ever made. It brought me so many unexpected opportunities and personal growth. Sure, there were challenges, but the journey has been totally worth it. Every step taught me something new and valuable. So if you're on sure about starting your own channel, just go for it. Even with a small following, it can make a huge difference in your life. And remember, it's not just about the numbers. The skills you pick up, the awesome people you meet, and the personal growth are totally worth it. So I've talked about a lot today. From surprising perks of starting a YouTube channel, to tips on juggling it with my full-time job, and the bumps you might hit along the way. Just remember, it's not just about how many subscribers you get. Because the skills you pick up, the community you build and the personal growth you go through are priceless. Good time management and bouncing back fast from challenges are the big takeaways. These skills will not only help you with YouTube, but in other parts of your life too. I've put some links in the description for the tools and gear I use. Some of them are affiliate links, so if you sign up, I might get a commission at no extra cost to you. Starting this channel has been more than just a hobby, it's been a journey of figuring out myself and growing. I've gotten more confident, creative and just happier overall. Every video shows how far I've 
have come and gets me closer to my goals. I'm super thankful for all the support from you guys. Your comments, likes and shares have not only helped my channel but also lifted my spirit. Thank you for being part of my journey and if you are unsure about starting your own channel just go for it. Take the first step and see what happens. Remember everyone starts from scratch on YouTube. Even the biggest YouTubers started with zero subscribers. Your journey will be unique and you might surprise you in ways you never thought possible. So don't let fear or doubt stop you. And I'd love to hear from you. Have you started your YouTube channel or are you thinking about it? Let me know in the comments below. And if you would like to see my weekly steps, check out this playlist where I share tips and experiences about growing on YouTube and balancing it with my busy life. See you there. Ciao.